God is the joy and the strength of my life. He moves all pain, misery, and strife. He promised to keep me, never to leave me. He's never, never come short of his word. I've got to fast and pray, stay in the narrow way. I keep my life clean every day. I want to go with him when he comes back. I've come too far, and I've never turned back. God is, God is, God is, God is. God is. God is. Pat with Pat's Two Cents. These are three prophetic warnings, and they all coincide and culminate. Listen to these three with a little commentary. You've got four voices in this. You've got Pat, mine, and Lynette's, and Lynn comments on Pat's. Listen carefully to each one of these. Some of this might pertain to you. But you better listen, because it could be a matter of life and death. I was dreaming that I thought I was awake, and there was four little demons trying to put a 99-year-old, old, flabby old man, trying to put him on my exercise bike in my room. So what, the, what they were trying to do is they took him Two were on his feet on the pedal, trying to make him pedal, and he kept falling over. Two of them tried to keep his hands on the handlebar, and he kept falling over. And they kept trying, and they kept trying. Oh, man, they were working hard to make him come to life. I mean, they were pushing his feet, just holding his hands on that handlebar. But if you take that 99 and flip it around, it's 66. Oh, the devil. wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. And, and I woke up and it startled me, of course, because it seemed so real. Mm -hmm. And I told the lady about it at work the next day in the bathroom at work. A lady in the stall yelled out, that's the old man. Anybody know what the old man is? Yeah, our old sinful self, our nature. Yeah. Yes. They, yeah. They were trying to wake him up because I was on the verge. I'm not going to tell you what I was getting ready to do. <laughs> In the dream, an old flame from the past reared his ugly head into my life. And it was someone I genuinely cared for. And I allowed him back into my life as a friendship, not as a romance, but a kiss ensued, just a kiss. And from that kiss, the dream transcended into a chase, a cat and mouse thing. The whole dream was cat and mouse. And I don't know who this is for, but somebody out there listening to this video, whoever you are, do not let an old flame into your life, not even by a phone call. Because the mm -hmm. way the dream ended and the whole dream played out was you will be you will end up running for your life at every turn. Mm -hmm. The man is out mm -hmm. to hurt you and he's enjoying mm -hmm. the cat and mouse game. But first he will mm -hmm. lure you in. And once he lures you in, your mind will be consumed with how to find safety. And if you open that door, don't count on God's guaranteed protection because you are out from under the ark of safety when you go against God's will. So this is your warning. Do not engage in a phone conversation. Do not, do not respond to text. 
Do not allow the person to knock on your door and you answer. Don't allow the person to know what city you live in let alone, or what state, let alone what street. The man is dangerous and he will hurt anybody around you to get to you. You will put a lot of people at risk if you allow this man back in your life. And I, in got the, some confirmation. I got some confirmation to go with that. All right. All right. Go right ahead. Um, I was, you know how they have those stories of women who have been stalked and they met some guy or they knew somebody, right? They were involved with someone. This young lady, oh, she was on a, a talk show, Cameron, Cameron Hall talk, talk show. She was on her talk show. This young lady uh, met a young man. It was all beautiful and all that, you know, in the beginning, and then it turned into hell. She said it was hell on earth. The, um, the man broke into her mother's house. He threatened to kill her, her kids. He is, and this is recent, too. <clears throat> and I said, well, why are you having watching this? He said, because you need to be aware that when people just show up out of the past, you need to be aware that they're not sent by me, that they're coming um, as a friend, but they really are there as an enemy. They, they're there for the for the enemy. Now, this was just a couple of days ago, and look wow. what you're talking about. This. Wow. Like he was warning me through this young lady, this lady's story that she was sharing on this talk show the, uh, the, just the other day. And because uh, I was like, this ain't got nothing to do with me. I ain't interested in nobody and don't want to be bothered with nobody. The Lord said, however, he interrupted my thoughts. He said, however, there are people, you, and he, you know, he brought a couple of people, you know, to my memory right yes. now as I'm speaking, that you, re that you really had a thing for. Right. And the devil knows it. And he, he, he ain't going to tell you who it is, but they're going to show up. And you'll be tempted to be like, well, it won't hurt just to say hi. Right. Or, you know. You know whatever, and the Lord is saying, I don't, 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 don't engage whatsoever. Right. So I don't, I don't think that's just for me. I think that's for a lot of women. I do too. And it doesn't necessarily always have to be a male in a romantic situation. It could be a female, because there was a girl that showed up in this other girl's life just to torment her, and almost tried to, uh, to drive her to suicide. Yeah. So there, there's people that know you or knew you from the past, and they're sent from Satan. They, they're the children of the devil, and they got an assignment. And and uh, you think, oh, this is my friend from, my old friend from uh, school. And, oh, yeah, let's catch up. What's going on with you? And they, they're sent, they're strict, sent them from the pit of hell. So it doesn't just, don't, don't just look for the men. It ain't just the men. Women can come back from your, your childhood, from your high school days. You know, somebody that, you know, you would never think would, you know, they would have anything against you. But the thing of it is, is and I'm going to say that I'm going to get out of the way, they've been watching you, They've been whether it's male or female, they've been watching you, and they are working for the devil. Excellent. See, when God brings you, a you. warning word like that, you got to listen. Amen. As Lynette was talking, that movie Divination came back to my mind. Where the yeah, woman yeah. who, who came from years Marriage. past came back into this woman's life who was married to befriend her. It turned out throughout the movie that the woman was an assignment. She was the spirit of divination. Mm -hmm. That's right. So you That's have to be very careful because this woman got a Christian woman back into reading mm -hmm. and and practicing uh things of mm -hmm. witchcraft and the occult mm -hmm. and and the yep. woman ended up opening her house to demonic attacks yep. so be very very careful because the devil mm -hmm. comes in all kind of disguises the bible says he comes as an angel of light so right. you be very careful mm -hmm. all of us yeah, must be that. weary yeah, because if we're loving, caring, and merciful on top of it, we'll think, I can win this one to the Lord. No, it ain't going to happen mm -hmm. like that. This is your That's warning. Right. Let God win them to the Lord. Let somebody else be the assignment for that. You stay That's out right. of that mess. That's right. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen.